So hello what's up, it's Gear and welcome to another video. In this video we're gonna be talking about uh, what are the good armor to power surge and uh, if you didn't know in this update you have to power surge your weapon, uh, weapons and armor and in general gear to upgrade it to the maximum level. So let's uh, go, uh, at first I'm gonna talk about power surging. Uh, to get to power surge your gear you have to have level 20 of, of your desired weapon and you have to reforge, uh, you go here and once you go here you uh, Power surge your weapon and it costs 100 data spars to, to do so. And when you uh, spend uh, and when you reforge, you get 1 uh, 8 heart. With 8 hearts, you can power surge your armor and swords or whatever you give gear you want, and it gives you your maximum level. So let's get right into uh, the armor. First of all, I want to talk about the Skull Forge. This is a uh, helmet of course for wearing, and it's really good because it has defense slot uh, for your cells, and it has unique, a, a unique effect. It has 1.5% of damage dealt, becomes a stamina shield, once of 50 that it depletes slowly after not dealing damage for a short period. Uh, this is an exo exotic helmet, so it's uh, uh, it's hard to get this one, so let's go down here. These three are ex exotic, exotic ones. And uh, I would say uh, the better one be between these two is uh, between these two is uh, this one tragic eco because it has a really cool unique effect. Upon your first death, become a shadow clone that is 100% damage for 15 seconds. A lot of people say that this, uh, this helmet is really good for fire. Now for beginners, I would say that but Nesher uh, armor is really good because as uh, for the torso and the helmet, you get defensive slots you can wear, uh, when, where you can add Iceborne to them. Iceborne is really cool so because it gives your life to you around 50% and it's really useful. Uh, also, also this torso and helmet, uh, this torso has uh, uh, a which is a unique effect, a unique part. See, it this effect uh, and it gives you 50 uh, max health and 5% increased healing from all sources. And when you get a uh, plus 3 tough, you get 150 max health. I wouldn't say uh, uh, cool shot armor is really good, but uh, and for Shrike and Charger, I would say the same thing. And Romain is a uh, really good tool for uh, movement speed and uh, dodging and stuff like that. It has uh, defensive slots which, where you can add ice point to them. Uh, one thing I don't like is that it doesn't have any attack uh, cells to them, so that's uh, why I would choose Hellion armor. It has uh, attack cells, but it doesn't have defensive slots, so uh, you have to make choose between attack or defense on these uh, sets. Uh, for target armor, I'm using uh, his fist because it, because it has, uh, it has uh, attack cells, and uh, it's uh, well, uh, also it gives you plus uh, power, overpower, which is pl plus uh, for plus one, it will be plus uh, ten per, uh, percent damage versus target behemoths. So that's really cool. And for Boris, Boris's armor, I have equi I have equipped Boris March because it's really cool. It good. It has plus the ice bone. And also, uh, I would uh, I would get uh, a source right here. I would power surge it because it gives. You rage and it also has uh, a defensive slot which you can add ice more to that. Uh, Pangor armor, it's, uh, it's really. It's okay, the defensive and attack slots, you can put rage or power and ice points in there. And it's overall pretty nice set. For Strave, I would uh, not power charge any of that and for Karabak as well. Kosha is uh, really unique because uh, through all the around dodging and not take damage, and if you are an X player, it is really good to build for uh, Koshai. For Scan, uh, it is pretty cool uh, starter set because it gives you a uh, lot of defense slot, defense slots, which is uh, all of them. You can put Ice Bone in there, and there's a tough uh, Guardian and Fortress and other stuff. So, Scan for beginner players who are new to the game and want you, uh, don't want to die out for Dress, I will skip this Molkarian. Uh, if you have uh, item hearts left from all all of it, you can uh, do power shield, power shield Malkarian set. It, uh, it's really good for uh, hunting grounds, I would say, uh, because of movement speed that you get from Grace. You can also uh, there are also different utility cells you can put. Uh, I will skip Night Zaga, Storm for two, Razor two, two, Level two, Restocker. It's really good for movement speed as well. Uh, now uh, I'm currently wearing uh, Dark Tomorrow, which is Shrouds Torso, and it gives you plus, plus 3, which is really good, and it also has 1. Uh, for Thrax, I would, uh, I would skip it. If, uh, if you if you are um, a heavy uh, potion user uh, or tonic user, you can throw this uh, headset. 
and for girls, I would, uh, if you have uh, 8 hearts left, I would uh, go search this because uh, I wouldn't get a uh, torso, I would get, I would get uh, Agarus legs before they set past the fortress, which is, uh, which is a really good defense cell, and you can also write defense cells there too. So yeah, this has been uh, armor over you. Uh, and which armor is good to power surgeon. So he also said uh, something about, about beginner players and if you want them. Uh, if you're an experienced experience player or, do, or doing trials, you should do Tragic Echo uh, because it's really good. It gives you 100% damage when you die. It's like a second chance and it's really cool. So yeah, this has been uh, Armor Overview and that's uh, Rinky Aurora and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.